Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for June 19th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, a phase 3 study of Clovis Oncology's rubraca in women with platinum-sensitive high-grade ovarian fallopian tube or primary peritoneal cancer met its main goal. Results showed that median progression-free survival for patients who received the PARP inhibitor was 10.8 months versus 5.4 months for those given placebo. In other news, Seattle Genetics will end a late-stage study of vadastuximab talarine in frontline older acute myeloid leukemia patients. The company took the decision after a review of unblinded data indicated a higher rate of deaths in the experimental drug arm versus the control arm. In addition, Valiant Pharmaceuticals said that John Paulson has been elected to serve as a director, bringing the total number of independent members on the company's board to 10. Paulson is president of hedge fund Paulson & Co., which is the drugmaker's largest shareholder with a holding of around 5.6%. And finally, the European Commission approved Novartis's Rixathon as a biosimilar version of Roche's Mapthura. The product has been authorized for use in all indications that Mapthura is cleared for, including non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and rheumatoid arthritis. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 